Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Viking Conquest campaign. Now then, I just finished uh, another arena round. Unfortunately, I didn't get to grind quite as much as I thought I would. I did get, what, like two... 3,000 maybe, I think I bought a few more uh, pieces of food, food as well, food items rather, um, but, uh, or rather, not but, but, uh, <laughs> this means that I will not be upgrading too many soldiers, at least not yet. Um, the weekly cost has gone up quite a bit as well. I'm not sure if in the previous, uh, budget we already got the, um, farmstead, uh, money from Selerigmanade. I'm not too sure about that one, but, uh, so, Ironworks. It, we did. We did. Uh, hopefully the rents and tariffs actually go up a little bit more as well. Right now we're still in a net positive, granted. Um, but it would be amazing to actually be getting a little bit more so that we can at least upgrade a few more troops um, without uh, the need for anything else. What is this? Running from Domlech's party. Who is Domlech? Not sure. But you should be joining up with everybody else around here just like I am about to. Uh, as we are, I believe, at least, or would hope, that we are going for Duntaroa, finally. Um, the good part about somebody else from our kingdom also taking Duntaroa is that they will be putting in a, uh, garrison themselves. A.K.A. we don't have to put in a garrison, uh, out of our 193 troops. Uh, I was also going to Kaya Morgan Clovis. Clovis, you're currently a spearman, but can, can you do writing? You can do writing quite a bit. Writing for all right. In that case, from henceforth, from henceforth, that's not how you say it, right? Just henceforth, you are now also a member of the horse archer division. So we now have three horse archers along with us. Or rather, cavalrymen, along with us, um, even without having any additional troops. But we do have a few, I believe. Yeah, we have two angle horsemen right there. Uh, do we have any more? We have one Frisian horseman. I don't think he's been joining our battles at all lately, though. Pretty sure he's the only Frisian left that we've got from, like, way back. Um... Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, so we have about, uh, not about, but we have seven horsemen with us included. So, not exactly enough for a hammer and anvil tactic, but we'll see. We'll see. As long as we can get into the enemy uh, backline and disturb the uh, archers, skirmishers, etc., etc., I'm happy with that. I would love to upgrade some of these troops, but because I'm not sure how our money is going to be looking, I am not going to be doing that. Um, You, come here. You're from Altkud. You know what? Also, I am curious whether the uh, so whether Squin will remain in the hands of. Uh, sorry, I'm just focusing and making sure I actually follow the tracks. Oh. Oh, he's accompanying him. Okay, I'll accompany you. There they are. If Squin actually ta uh, stays in the hands of Altkud. Because if it does, Squeen is also a um, contender, well, not a contender, but uh, a location that we can certainly build another uh, farmstead on <clears throat> for a little bit more money, for a little bit more gold. There we go. Okay, so uh, do we actually have a quest from him? Follow? No, just follow him. All right. I will be doing that. Why? Like, Bjorn has so few troops i think somebody else oh no bjorn was the one that i was looking uh, that i was accompanying right so he has very very few troops that is oh can we actually catch him 3.9 i'm at 3.5 that's not something i catch oh there we go it's under siege oh cool i didn't even notice this when a castle go uh, gets on uh, gets besieged i'm wondering if the same happens with a town as well but that's pretty cool Basically, the little um, the little uh, siege camps appear around it. That's pretty cool. 
I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's not in vanilla, right? This is where everybody tells me that after years and years of playing vanilla, uh, this is actually something that's common. <laughs> where are you? Um, trying to find where is. Um, where is uh, there? He is. Here's it. It doesn't really matter, I guess, who I accompany, but I know that at least he's gonna stay here until we take this. Oh, no, he's not going in yet. I am happy. I am happy we're taking Duntaro. Okay, so rents and tariffs did go up a little bit, so we are 1,300 in the positive. Uh, a lot more troops are <laughs> ready to upgrade now, but uh, let's wait a little bit longer. Let's let's not make this a night attack, all right? Let's just not do that one. Agathinos, I have no idea what to actually do with you, though. Like, I, I know that we should be going into intelligence, of course, but not this level yet. So he's going to have to be level 16. Uh, He's going to be level 16 by the time we get his intelligence to 20, meaning engineer 10, tactics 10. Like, it's going to be sweet once we can actually do that. Um... Hmm, what to actually do with you? I mean, trainer, but you're only level 10. Granted, you're still going to be able to uh, level up, I believe, like the Rift Raft, right? How, what is the level of like, not labor, but the one before that? Do we actually have anything at the very first level? I think Freeholder? Freeholder would be... Tell me about yourself. Oh, level 18. Never mind. So I think it's something even before Freeholder. Is the Surf. Tell me about yourself. Even the Surf is level 12. Jesus. Okay. So Agathinos wouldn't really be able to um, put anything, <laughs> like train our men in much. At least not at first. Um, I mean, he's intelligent. I could also give him some surgery. Uh, he, him being our tactician and engineer, I think is also, are you in our, yeah, you're in our back line, right? Yeah, he's a skirmisher, so he's in our back line, so he would stay safe. So technically speaking, I could give him a little bit more surgery. It's not like I can give him any more iron flesh or anything like that. Um, writing, not necessary, looting, we have... Uh, yeah, I guess let's just increase the chances of our guy surviving. And that's intelligence-based as well, so it's going to be able to go higher and higher as we go. Um, all right. So, surgery it is, and I will have you do slings. There we go. Very good. Oh, they're going in. Um... How many defenders are in Duntaro? Oh, Jarl Guthorm is in there. Okay, so this is not going to be done immediately. Let me wait until... Uh, I'm also going to save. Let me wait until... Come on. Early morning. There we go. I will now join. Approach the siege camp. Join the next assault. We have number... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's cool. It, oh, it also must be very, very hard to take, but it looks cool. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose too many troops of our own. Too many of our own troops, rather. Shield forward, but let me take out some of our javelins. Ooh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare taking this, huh? Oh, they're coming down the ramp. Why would they be doing that? I'm just going over here to basically hide behind this hill here for a little bit. Just enough to be able to possibly... Uh, probably not hitting anything over there. Let me go behind this palisade, maybe. Norse bowmen <laughs> are giving our guys hell, honestly. <laughs> Hit one. There we go. Kill. Hit another one. Hit another one. Please just kill one of those two. No, don't throw it in the be in between them. God damn it. 
Okay, so there are quite a few men on the map right now. Hopefully my PC can actually handle it. Um, there's nothing for me to pick up and throw at them, unfortunately. Or maybe there is? Javelin. There do be. Ah! There we go, headshot, kill! Uh, saw somebody have a javelin, but... Come on, grab it. No, I missed. Uh, any more? There's plenty of arrows. Is there any javelin? That's a war spear. Throwing spear. That'll do. That'll do. Just to, like, kill one of the... No! Oh my god! Okay, so I'm guessing <laughs> throwing spears are slightly heavier. I'm showing my back to the enemy, which is not a smart idea. Okay, how are we... Uh, there's, there's a random troop stuck all the way back. All the way in the back, rather. Okay, let me start pushing in as well. Please don't make me fall. I'm gonna face these guys so we don't get shot from the side. So basically, I'm facing them and walking backwards and right. Okay, we're doing well. We finally, like, once we crash through their main defense over here in the ramp, I guess we can actually start murdering. <laughs> there we go. Come on, move, move, move. How are there so many troops moving over there, but we're not moving an inch? No, not backwards. Oh, my goodness. I know I said I was walking backwards. <laughs> and then turn, basically. Okay, so, um... Let me go and get these guys that keep pelting us. Stamina is still high, which is good. Okay, so... Right, sword out. Didn't have anything out. Another one. Come on. Face me. Face me if you dare. Oh, cheeky bastard was still shooting at our guys as we were killing people behind him. <laughs> okay, how are we looking? Uh, are they actually coming back up? Do they have a ramp over here? They don't. Okay. In that case, this is our only direction we can go. Uh, can I grab, like, anything? There's a longbow over here, but no arrows. Let me just pick up a couple of these. Okay. Nope, not enough. Uh, that's a javelin, right? No, that's a light spear. Come on, I'm pretty sure that's a javelin, sir. Light spear, never mind. I'll just jump down here. Oh, that actually didn't hurt? Wow. Should have done that from the start. Our stamina is still high as well. Is this it? Is this as far as Doom Taro goes? I will say, though, hopefully we put in a few more than just like 70 troops the fact that there's a lord also in here means that that's one lord less that might be coming uh back to take Buntado afterwards because let's remember we have to try and keep it for 20 days is that it there's one more somewhere over that's it all right we got Duntaro. How many troops did I lose? Us? I mean, we lost 60 troops in general. How many of those were mine? Eight. All right. All right. Not too bad. Three of those were Norse Freeholders. Two of them were Irish Militia. I would prefer not losing our Irishmen, but hey. Uh, another Norse Spearman died. A an Irish Freeholder died. And one Young Warrior. Okay, but Young Warrior is like the uh, random troops we picked up. Uh, allied casualties, a bit more. Enemy casualties, a lot more. I like it. Okay, how many troops did we leave in Duntaro? I can't actually see. Uh, let's move out of it. Come on. 122. Okay. So, at this point, when we hear that Duntaro is under attack, we have to rush like, we have to gather up a couple of other lords, tell them, hey, Duntaro is under attack, 
rush towards here. Um, because we now have to def defend it. Okay, so October 2nd is when we got it. We now have to defend it for 20 days. So October 22nd will be when this mission is done. Uh, border incident, Gwynedd and Mears, or Mercia rather. That is fine. Where are you two going? Traveling to Middlesbrough and Denis... Denise Burna. That's not over here. That's way down here, isn't it? I think I saw Denise Burna. Yeah, there it is. Um, okay, so you're basically abandoning the campaign? There's still a couple of us. There's still enough of us, let's put it that way. So we're down to 185. Still okay. Um... What are we actually doing here now? Are we... Oh, are we... Oh, no. Dunduim is under siege. The Altklutians have beat us to it. Why don't we go for, like, Dunbaite? Or Dun Onleg? Or something. Speaking of which, can I actually just ask you... Where are we going? Forgot I can actually just do that. If it isn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You enjoy fighting with us, alongside with us. Um... I wish to ask you something. What are you and your men doing? We are scouting for the enemy around Aidenham West. As the marshal, I am leading our forces in search of the enemy. Aidenham West. Aidenham West. Aha! It's being raided by our enemy. So we're basically going down to defend. I see. Uh, These guys are fighting. Oh, 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 oh. That's one of our boys. That's Bjorn. 52 enemies. Let's do this. Wait. I'll be damned if I let our boy lose. I wonder who actually attacked. Might have actually have been Bjorn. Think, uh, seeing the massive... Well, not so that massive, but like... The large Northumbrian army. Coming closer. Is that actually all that's left of his own troops? Oh boy. Uh, we came in at the last moment, I guess. <laughs> uh, I did see that another Altklut lord was also coming in to help, but uh, if we waited even a moment longer, I think we were done. Oh, shite! Uh, spearmen right there. Um, skirmishers on top of the hill. Jesus, I'm getting shot at. Let's go, let's go, let's go, people. Uh, infantry in front as well. Possibly a little bit more to the side over here. Uh, what I would like for you guys to do is also form a shield wall. Meanwhile, our horse archers, please position yourself to the side. So that I can command you to charge in when needed. Okay, so their archers definitely have... The range advantage. Our guys are still forming the shield wall. I don't like how long this takes. <laughs> I know I've said it before, but I really don't like how long it takes for them to form that. Okay, position themselves like so. Oh, is there cavalry coming in? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good, good, good. Our spear wall is fine over here. Okay. That's nine damage. That's not enough. We actually... I trust our men are going to be able to survive at least a little bit of the pelting. Okay, kill him. There we go. That's as far as their cavalry men go. We do have a lot of spearmen got now. <laughs> Gosh darn. Um, stand closer, even. That way, anything coming at us does not come through. 
Okay, now everyone. Movement. Nope. This one. Advance 10 paces. Advance 10 more. And 10 more. Okay, skirmishers finally started doing their thing. Advance 10 more. And 10 more. Straight into them, just walk into them, kill them. Command charge. These guys are trying to back off. I'm not letting them. Apparently their commander's down. An angle freeholder died. A couple of troops died, but I think we're all in all we're good. I think Bjorn lost uh, the remainder of his forces here. <laughs> like all 25 of them. There we go. Alright, uh, seven lost. Alright, so six of those were angle freeholders. We can, well, we can get those back. Like, those are, what, rank two troops? We can get those. Uh, freeholders, we can get those as well. Slightly more expensive, but that's fine. Um, yeah, he had six more troops. That was it. That was all Bjorn had left. Um, alright. Bjorn Dragonson, he definitely appreciates us. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, he knows. He knows he was a goner. Again, you save our next Bjorn. Truly, you are the best of friends. Now, let us strip their dead and leave them for the crows, so that we all will know the fate of those who come against us. And he managed to escape. That is... Dumb, dumb. But oh well. Uh, let's get all of these guys... Surely, at least, some of them are going to catch a pretty penny. There we go. Uh, share the loot as it's come. Do we get anything good? That's not good. That's not good. That's even worse. Oh, battle trophy, though. Certainly get that one. And there's a war trophy right there. All right, so that's already 1,500. Very nice. All right. Take the rest. We got some legs. Um... <laughs> Alright, so no need for you to come over here. How many? Yeah, 14 troops, but none of those are available. Good God. Um, speaking of which, okay, so we've already talked with Guthred. Let's talk to the rest of the people. So that they like us a little bit more as well, due to the fact that we did fight together in this battle. Pretty sure you didn't fight with us, did you? I don't think you were here, Kubi. Um, and profited much from my advice. Really? You profited from it? I'm not even sure what I suggested you to do anymore. I think I suggested you go to Duntaruo, but we managed to take it without you, so... <laughs> or are you saying you're taking a bit of that, uh, <laughs> a bit of the credit for that one? Um, we didn't visit a lady. Yeah, we've been a little bit busy. We're not allied with... Altklud, but I wish we could join them in the attack. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think Ismail Domna, surely that's just a lord, right? Surely that's not their actual king. Factions, Alban. It is their king. No, that's the vassal. Ruide is the king. All right. He is prisoner of the kingdom of Altklud. Good, 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 yes. Um, can we learn anything else about them? So this guy is stuck in Dunduim. He's about to be beaten. Um, he is lord of Dunbait. He was close to Duntaro, but that was 19 days old. Okay. Uh, so he's still at large. He's still at large. Uh, he... I think we beat him? Or was he not the one that was defeated, but it was somebody else? Uh, suspicious towards us. Dun unlike. Okay, so he, I believe, is also still at large. Um, I think he's the one that we beat up in Dune, uh, 
what was it? <laughs> Dune uh, Taro. Dune Taro. That's the one. Dune Taro. Uh, what about you? Also near Dune Taro. I mean, we beat uh, we beat one of the lords in there. I forgot which one of them it was, but it was the one that escaped. Actually, we can just check our notes, can't we? Um, has increased. Okay, but prior to that. Oh no, that's all the messages from the battle. Never mind. So we don't know which lord we de defeated. But I think that even if like the two or three lords that are still at large um, at large come towards Duntarwa, I think we should we should be able to defend. The uh, worry now is what happens if the North Northegers decide that they want to come towards Dune Foyther again, or even Dune Tarwa. Keep in mind, we didn't, I don't think we defeated a single, or maybe we defeated a single Lord somewhere? Um, oh, what am I talking about? The Lord we defeated in Dune Tarwa was a Nordfager Lord. Right, it was not a, um, an Alban Lord. Right, right, right. Okay, so we did beat one of the Northvega lords, but that's about it. They've more or less been left to their own devices, so they might come back with a vengeance. So we're not just defending against Alban, we're also defending against um, Northvega, which hopefully, I, I sincerely hope we can somehow manage to get peace going with them again. Why is nobody attacking this guy? Hello? Uh, somebody attack. I don't want to be the one that touches first. Touches down first. Who are you? Are you running away from us or attacking us? Can't tell. Okay, I'm going to join these two. Surely one of you is going to attack him, right? Oh, he's going to manage. He's going to manage. He's going to catch him. Art Triarna. That's 300 troops less. Uh, Northumbri and Northvegar have made peace. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I mean, this was literally just a game coding, right? That forced us into this war. But that means that Duntaro is safe from the Northvega incursions. Now all that's left is to beat up the rest of the Alban. Uh, Alban lords and Duntaro remains in our hands, surely. Um, in order to do that, so in order to progress that, let me possibly join in on this battle you no 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 what are you doing what are you doing get back in here you're supposed to help with this this is your dude hello oh he's just gonna leave him there that's 300 troops i mean if we combine our forces it's gonna be 300 versus 300 uh, like i said guys right now due to our finances and whatnot I don't want to take uh, one to one battles. I would prefer either outnumbering our enemy. Um, like if these guys joined, I would join in immediately, but they're not joining in. Oh, he actually let him go. He escaped. Yeah, and since we're nowhere close anymore, he's going to let it go. Um, that was who? Something was besieged, but I don't think that was one of our things. Um, okay, that was definitely not what I was expecting there. I was hoping we would attack. Wait, so are you telling me that Dunduim is no longer under siege either? No. Altklud backed off. Mael Domnal is in there. Luth Luke Threni is in there. That's 500 troops, plus 300 from that. That's potentially 800 troops right there that could attack Duntarwa. Uh, that's an issue. Okay, so Duntarwa has 120 troops in there. With us in there as well, that's going to be 300. But we need additional lords to come and help. He's following us, apparently. Not anymore. Um, right, I'm supposed to be following Hersir Guthred. My bad. I thought I was going to be able to help in a battle there. Um, quest completed. Oriman adds to its prosperity. The merchant's rest hall. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so that's... Uh, Celerigmanite is gaining prosperity. That's good. Um, okay, so I'm guessing... Since the quest has just concluded... That that is it for this campaign. 
Um, so everybody is just returning back to their homes. Who am I supposed to visit now? Uh, da, 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 visit lady in more in Eilach. I mean, I should be going to Eilach, I feel like, and just recruiting a few more Irishmen that I lost. Bal Eilach East. Why is that? Is that under the control of Eilach or not? Why is it a different color? That's confusing. Uh, are they... Wait. Is Eilach at war with uh, Connect? Connect are right there. That's not Eilach. What are they called? It just let's check. Connacht Van Truce at war with Kingdom of Mead. It does not occupy much. <laughs> the Kingdom of Mead over there. Oh, and that's about to fall as well. Lovely. Uh, that's the last one as well for Mida. Okay, so there they got deleted. All right. Um. Let's return. Let's uh, put our gaze towards here. Okay, so Mamcaster is currently under siege. Dean Ad has fallen. I think. Yeah, that were that belonged to Northumbria not too long ago. Um, so that has fallen to Gwynedd. Um, Mamcaster is currently under siege. I wonder if we're going to be defending that. Um, who else is Gwynedd at war with right now? North Vega, Lathland, and Northumbria. So that's it. Um, maybe if Mercia actually um, triggers the castle's belly, maybe they join in as well. That would be very, very lovely. They would be attacked from two sides. Um, we should... God, I, I feel like I should just hang out around Duntaro for the next 20 days. But the thing is, if the combined force of the Alban army actually does come and strike down Duntaro, that's going to be at least 800 troops, which I am ill-prepared to face on my own. Um, Bjorn is in there with 14 troops. Eldred over there, like, but he's not going to listen to me is the problem. Like, I could tell him, hey, go defend Duntaro, but he's just going to be a little prick and not go. Um, gosh, let's just go to Doom Breton. Head over to Ireland, get a few more troops. Uh, possibly even sitting at Edinburgh, that's fine. Um... Has been besieged. Celery Monade has been besieged by Alban. Oppa. Hopla. You. Hubi. I've suggested things to you before. Let me suggest things again, please. Are you faster than me? Um, may I suggest a course of action? We are under attack at Celery Monade. Okay, he's going to go. Now, if I can just get somebody else to join as well, come on. That's not going to be... That's not somebody that would join. Domnal, that's an Albanese lord. An army of enemies. No, come on. I can't find anybody. To join. In Edinburgh, that's just... Yeah, not even Bjorn is there anymore. Um, just gonna save the game. Mamcaster has been... No, you're on the wrong side of the freaking map. I can't get to you to get you... Oh, Mamcaster actually fell as well. Uh, that That is lovely. So, <laughs> our... our um... <sighs> Our conquests are basically just going to start being taken back. Um, you know what? I'm going to be ending the episode right there. It's been 35 minutes, I believe. Um, it's a, a bit of a cliffhanger because I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to de defend Celerigmonade. Because I'm pretty sure an army constitutes at least 500 troops. 
Um, so the defense of Sanerik Munaid would be very, very hard, very, uh, especially if there's, like I said, a lot of troops around. Um, I don't think we do, like, there's 200 troops in there. We have roughly 180. We would be outnumbered at least two to one, I believe, um, which I guess in a defensive battle is okay. Uh, we'd have to see. Um, I, I'll, I'll see if I can possibly find one more lord to ask to come defend with us. Hubi's already gone. Uh, gone to Selerigmanite, I mean. Um, if he's in Selerigmanite currently, I wonder if I can actually just go to Edinburgh, sail there. Um... Because with our combined forces, his, his 177 troops additionally defending Sadarik Munaid, we might actually be able to do it. This is so dumb, though. Like, <laughs> I'm, I won't lie. I'm upset. They're attacking Sadarik Munaid instead of Skuin right now. Skuin right now does not have that many um, troops in it. Um... I was hoping that once Skuin fell, that it's basically gonna cause it to be, like, and Dunfoytar over here, that it's basically gonna make kind of a buffer zone for the Albanese. But they're attacking Selerigmanate, like, deeper in enemy territory for some reason. Granted, even if Selerigmanate falls, I'll be able to take it back probably relatively easily, because it's not gonna have that many defenders in it. Um, unless the lords of Alban actually stay in there. But I don't know how many troops there are in there. At any rate, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, as always, Ad Gloria.